Hey everybody, Paul Ramsey here, and I'm joined once again by William Horton, who is presenting a one-hour seminar at the 2017 NGH convention. Will's going to be talking about a new NLP technique for rapid change. How are you, Will? I'm doing great. How are you guys? Uh, I'm great. I'm great. I'm glad to be with you again. Now, let's start, because this is a one-hour, I want to make sure I protect and don't have you, you know, giving away the core content here. People got to come and spend time with you. Let's start with some uh some assumptions or some let's let's not make some assumptions for people who don't even know what nlp is get me started there well neuro-linguistic programming nlp stands for neuro-linguistic programming or neuro-linguistic psychology depending on who you're talking to and it's basically how the neuro your neurology is affected by language which makes programs run in your mind because humans by nature run on automatic pilot most of what you do you don't think about which is good, it frees you up so you can drive on, you know, you know you're not supposed to, you're driving as you're checking your texts and everything. So, right. cause you can multitask. The bad part, unless you know how to interact and, and, and stop those programs, things keep going. So what NLP does, it was also the first that when, they, when you look at something, let's say a problem, like a phobia, let me use that one for an example. Psychology attacked it and they could describe a phobia, they categorized phobias, they had phobias down to a T with all these subsets. They could describe the problem. They had no way to fix it, but they could really describe the problem. What NLP started to do, and the guys that came up with it back in the late 60s or early 70s, really not late 60s, is they would find people that used to have a phobia and now they don't and say, what the heck did you do in your head so you don't have a phobia? And then see if you could systemize it because they got into what they call breaking things down into small enough chunks. And if we could duplicate those chunks, you'll get better. And there, it's very, and it sounds simple. And when, when I first introduce it, people go, there's two things and I will stress this. They'll go, oh, it's another tool for my toolbox. No, it is not. If you learn NLP the way it was intended, it becomes the toolbox. Right. Everything you do will go through it, not the other way around. You know, when I hear somebody say, Oh, yeah, I have NLP in my toolbox. I, in my opinion, I go, you've never been trained in NLP. Because it changes how you look at the world. And, and it fits. And whether you're doing regression therapy or cognitive behavioral therapy or scripts or whatever you do, NLP is a framework. And it teaches you different subsets. And it speeds things up. So that's kind of what NLP is. And I've been doing this since the uh, 80s, early 80s. And, uh, you know, so it, 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 you know, trained with the founders and all that stuff. <clears throat> it's kind of like this, some second generation people to learn it. Wow. And uh, so it's, it, and, and I bridged the gap because when I first started doing this, you had the hypnosis world, then you had the NLP world. They did not talk. Right. Right. And then now it's kind of, you, you, they're interchangeable, you know, when you go to conferences and people do both. So that's kind of what NLP is. and. Uh, it gives you techniques based on how people overcome things. I'm looking at your description in the guide here and it says, have you ever done a technique that seems to work, then have the person go backwards? That's an interesting concept because I think if you're, if you're really in practice as a hypnotist, there has to have been some point where that's happened. Like I, I would find it hard to believe if a hypnotist told me, no, that's never happened to me. I'd be like, what? Like, <laughs> I've never had a smoker go back and smoke. And I go, you've, you've worked with one smoker in your life probably. Right? So tell me more about, about that. Why you put that in there? Well, it, it happens a lot, whether you're using an NLP based technique or, or, uh, uh, a classical cognitive behavioral, uh, or even regression, right? You, you know, I've seen guys swear by, well, if you go back and you hit the ISE or whatever, you know, all that stuff, right. it's gone forever. And I go, BS. No. No. <laughs> it could come back. Don't tell me it never happens, right? Right. Because uh, if that's true, I will make one logical assumption. If it was that simple and that quick, all regression would be controlled by psychiatrists. We wouldn't be able to touch it. Interesting. I never right? thought of it like that. And, and so yeah, it'll work. I'm not saying it doesn't work. I'm saying, but what happens when 
it works a little while because see what happens. I can fix, I, I hate to say it that way. You, you help somebody, right? And they're doing great. And then something triggers the old behavior. And I, I, you know, as you know, I come from an addictions background. So I don't know how many times should people go away to treatment. They do great. They get four stars. They're, oh, everybody loves them. The, the staff is saying, this guy's going to do great. You run into him two weeks later, he's drunk as a dog. Yeah. Right? Why? Well, you might have made some changes in him, but the system around him doesn't change yet. And then you put him back in the system, and the only way he knows how to cope is go back to the old behavior. And I think that's what happens with us. We fix people, we're in our office, they're doing great, and then something happens down the road that sets them backwards. So I, there's a couple techniques that I'll teach there that kind of help seal it so you can go forward. And a lot of this comes from uh, all, all, like we talked the last time in our interview, about what works in the world of addiction. So how do people get better? And well, we could model that for like weight loss, for smoking, for whatever it is that we have happen to, right. to, to make that change. That's cool. How do you, how, <coughs> excuse me, how do you choose today between like when you're going to go, well, maybe I'm, I guess I'm assuming that you still do. Do you only do NLP today or do you still do hypnosis? Oh, I do. they're interchangeable. I don't know how you do one without the other. Well, okay, but, you, but I'm going back to your earlier comment. I'm still processing, but you said like, if you get into NLP, really that's your toolkit and everything sort of flows through that, right? So how do you sort of choose when you're really going to be NLP focused versus now I'm going to bring some hypnosis in there? Is it just an instinct or do you have a protocol? No, I, no, oh yeah, well, what happens is like uh, the NLP gives you a structure. So like somebody comes in and if I, if you do it right, if you really get good at it, right. And there's not that many people that are that good at it because they're, they're always saying, Ooh, shiny object, Ooh, butterfly. And they're, you know, today it's EFT tomorrow. It's whatever, you know, yeah. eye movements. Yeah. You know, they don't stay with anything. Yeah. And, but if you really get good at it, a really good NLP practitioner, the work is done when I say, okay, now Paul, take a deep breath, close your eyes. I've already done everything I, that will work, but since most people don't know what hypnosis is. Right. So you try to say what NLP is, and I move stuff in your head, and we've done these funny little techniques. It takes 15 minutes, right? And, but they, they expect hypnosis. Right. So then I'll put people in trance and reinforce it, maybe, maybe do a patter script. I don't know why some people hate scripts, but or, or do some just – a lot of ego strengthening, if nothing else, just put them in trance and do the, I have a version of the Heartland ego strip, script, yeah. script, yes, I speak for a living, ego script, <laughs> that, and, and just like reinforce it. Yeah. Right? So it's kind of, they're always, and then if you do an NLP technique while they're in trance, it's even more powerful. Yeah, that makes sense. That totally makes sense. More receptivity, yeah, yeah, cool. All right, man, you've covered it. I don't want to, I, I, because I love learning about this stuff, I want to go for another hour, but uh, then I'd start getting you into the real granular stuff, and I don't want to do that to you. Um, so we're talking uh, Sunday, Sunday at 9 a.m., one hour, with William, uh, a new NLP technique for rapid change. All right, you guys, it's covered by your convention registration fee. If you're already registered for the convention, you're, you're all set. All you got to do is show up. If you're not registered for the convention, this is why we're doing these interviews. So you can get a sense of these wonderful presenters and that, <clears throat> how much knowledge they possess and what a deep background many of them have and how you can take advantage of that at the convention. So, Will, thanks so much for your time. Thank you. And you'll be able to find my room by the loud party music that will <laughs> be going on before we start. I start everything, you know, like my dear friend Tony Robbins. No, it's 9 a.m. Wake up. There's going to be, you know, Taylor Swift or it's something going true. on. Uh, having been in a room next to Will's at the convention, <laughs> I can vouch for that. <laughs> be able to do that. <laughs> hey, thanks. Hey, Will, if people want to learn more about you, how can they find you on the internet or in the world? Uh, they could go to www.nfnlp.com. That's National Federation of Neuro Linguistic Programming. And that goes there. Or, of course, you could go to Dr. Will Horton, D R W I L L H O R T O N.com. And that you'll find out more about me or get a hold of the guild. They're always um, sending people my way, especially down here in Florida when people have questions about. <coughs> 
how to how to practice legally in Florida. Cool. I know three or four states because I've done a lot of work in them. So yeah. you know, so just get a hold of Guild if nothing else, and and they'll tell you how to get a hold of me. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Have a great day, and I hope to see everybody at the at the conference. It is the conference to go to. This is, I think, my thirtieth consecutive year. Wow. I've never missed a conference. That's amazing. That's so, so, amazing. so come and, and hang out. It's a lot of fun. Very cool. All right. Be well. Thank you.